Georgia Power attached a bill to my account and told me that I was responsible for a different location. And I've called multiple times. I feel like I'm harassing them for my money and they're not treating me like a customer. They're treating me as if I need them. I think it was around March, I received a bill and I'm on a fixed uh, plan. So my bill is like 50 or $60 a month. It never goes beyond that because I'm on a fixed rate. So I received a bill around March and the bill was like $380. So I called Georgia Power and I told them like, I don't understand. I'm on a fixed rate. Why is my bill this much? And they were like, oh, you, you have another location and you didn't pay the other location. And I was like, I never opened up another location. If I did, why didn't you guys send me an email? Or why didn't you just contact me and let me anything to verify that it was me? And they were like, we don't do that. We just attach the bill to your your account at the end if you don't pay it. And then I was like, okay, that's weird. So I went into my account. There was no other account attached to my account. They just kind of like threw the bill on there. So they told me I had to go through a fraud protection process. And I did everything and while I was waiting on the police report. They cut my power off at my house, even though that they told me while the investigation was going on that I would be protected. So I had to pay them $380, I believe it's three eight, to get my power back on, which I didn't have. And you kind of know how the economy is right now. It's like, we have to really stretch our money. So a part of that money was like my car insurance and I just didn't have it to give. And I paid them. So when they came up with a conclusion that I was not responsible and it was not me, I was like, okay, so when am I going to get my money back? And they were like, oh, we applied it to your account. And I was like, how can you apply it to my account? Do I have a credit on my account? And they was like, no, it just covered the balance. And I was like, I never had a balance. I pay you guys one time every month. Um, my, my fixed rate is 50 to $60. Prior to this, uh, I think my bill was probably low that month. I think it was maybe like 40, 40 bucks. I was like, so what balance did you apply it to? Because even throughout the process, I kept paying my portion and they told me, um, they were going to have an accountant call me back and explain to me where we, and it's been about a month and nobody had to call me back. They can't even explain where it went. So that's where I am. I'm just out of money and I kind of feel like it was an inside job because for some reason, like they tell me I'm not responsible. It never really was sent to my account and they don't want to give me the money back because I guess their account would be different if $380 was gone. I'm not sure, but that's the only thing that I can think of that it was an inside job and they're trying to protect um, someone because they won't keep me in my money. All multiple turns, left multiple voicemails. Um, they never call me back. I'll keep calling to get in touch with them and they'll keep telling me, hey, we'll call you back and we'll figure it out. I emailed them multiple times. They never respond. They did. The only thing they sent me was a letter saying that I wasn't responsible. But the customer service, I feel like it's getting for because I spoke with one man and he was kind of like yelling at me because I was frustrated. And I was like, you shouldn't take this personal because this is your job. You should be able to just explain it. And you're frustrated that you can't explain it. But it shouldn't be anything personal. Like only person who should be frustrated is me. And yeah, the person who worked my case, her name was Jennifer. And she has tried, but Jennifer always tells me she's going to call me back and she does it as well. I really just want my money back, but I feel like out of all the frustration, because I have to go up to the police station 
at least five times because they would tell me like, oh, you can't come in because of COVID. Then I'll call. They were like, oh, you could come in now. We're open. And then I get there. They're like, oh, no, you got to go to the headquarters. Then I get to the headquarters. Oh, no, we closed them like tomorrow. And it was like all of these, the gans, the time, the frustration, and just getting everything together when they never protected me in the first place. I feel like there should be some type of inconvenience. Um, they should pay me for some inconvenience as well, but I'll be satisfied with the money that I gave out extra. I decided to go public because, like I said, Georgia Power is like the only power supply in Georgia. And it's like, if this is happening to me and they don't protect me and they have nothing set up to protect me and somebody can just get an account in my name and they never notified me or attach it to my original account and place the blame on me, um, and I have no choice to take my business somewhere else. I feel like people should be aware of what they were doing because it made me something new. I'm not sure, but the account was attached to me, wasn't attached to me, but they opened the account in January and I wasn't notified until I believe March. Man, I, I forgot, but it was a while until they, until they said, okay, the person's not paying his balance. And I even asked them, like, I don't know anybody that can have a balance over $300 and y'all keep the, the gas going and they never pay for it. So just because it's the only joint of power supply is the reason why I'm going public, because I have no choice at this point. I've called multiple times. I feel like I'm harassing them for my money and they're not treating me like a customer, them treating me as if I need them. Mm -hmm.